Hey y'all, Rhonda here. I have the new Spellbinders Better Press. Yes, I do. And we're going to see what it's all about. Well, it's very late at night or early in the morning, whatever you want to call it. Um, had a long day at work. And then at one of the shows here in town, um, they were sponsoring the band kind of thing. And so um, if you mention the band, then the complete money of the ticket the whole, the entire money of the ticket went to the band and then we did a 50-50 drawing. So anyway, we went to that. It was um, awesome 80s. We love the 80s. And um, anyway, great uh, time. Uh, raise money for the kids. Um, all that. And then AJ with FFA, she went to Springfield to a Springfield Cardinals game. And then she got home um, a little after 11. So we picked her up at the high school and then got back. And then I saw Luigi and had to give him a little bit of cheese and do all that stuff. So I got this in today at the shop. It's not even supposed to be out until tomorrow, which you'll see it Saturday when it's available. Because um, we can't even show it until a certain date. Um, but anyway... So I'm so excited. So we were working today and I was hurrying up trying to get stuff done so I could open this box and get this. So we have the letterpress bundle right here. And then we have the letterpress, ca uh, letterpress cotton card panels. Um, what's the difference? There's 25, 25. Oh, this is 200 and uh, 220 pound. A2 size, and this is 118 pound. So I wonder what the difference is. We'll find out. I mean, obviously, if there's both, there's 25 in each one. And look at the difference. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So both of these are cotton, card, panels, porcelain. Both have 25. They're both A2 size. One's 120, or 220. The other one's 118 pounds. So that's okay. Then we have the special letterpress ink. So we have Bark, Mulberry, Cosmic Sky, and Better Press Black. And this is called Regal Tones. And then they have another four pack out, which we don't have yet. Acid free, permanent, waterproof, non-toxic, waterproof. That's gonna be very important um, here in a little bit. And then here is, did I move that one? Yeah. So this is Press Plate and Die. This is Butterfly Swirl. So we have the butterfly is all that's one big piece. Oh, and then the die to cut it out, the different butterflies. So if you want to pop it up. And then we have a sentiment that says, so happy for you. And then we have um, a little message, a little message sentiments, 12 plates and 12 cutting dies. Sending strength on your special day. Wishing you all the best. You melt my heart. You're a great friend. Thanks for being you. A big congrats. A little message to say. Uh, happy birthday to you. Here's to another year. Wish big today just because. And there's those. And then this is Butterfly Bouquet. Very pretty. And then we have Swirl Birthday Frame. And that's not as big as what you think. This is actually um, a little shy of, let's see, what is it? Four and a, four and a half, uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is like four by five, actually. And then you can cut out the middle there. Oh, there's a, we'll figure all that out. <laughs> Very pretty. All right. So let's see what this is all about. Let's open it up and see what the hype is about. This is heavy. So we have on the back, we have features and benefits uh, used with your manual die cutting machine. Kit includes everything you need to create a stunning stationery, especially form formulated better press ink by Ranger, creates crisp letterpress images, custom better press cotton card panels for impressions uh, you can feel, no messy paints or brayers, um, and then there's elevate. Better press design with watercolor inks, foils, and more. Wow, what's in the box? So we have, they're calling this the, a chase. Uh, with magnetic insert and three shims. Uh, we have the exclusive Better Press plates. Uh, Better Press black mini ink. Cotton card panels. And best ever craft tape. 
So that's cool that you get that. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see what we have. Let's see. Pull it out like this. Packaged very nicely. We'll save that. So here we have the um, tape. Good stuff. And we have Better Press Black Ink. And we have some cardstock. So this appears to be, oh, there's two different colors in here. That's interesting. And then we have, let's get rid of that. We have a beautiful plate. Okay, hold your ears. And this has some weight to it. This looks a lot like the um, oiling machine. All right, so we have a beautiful plate here and sentiments that I can't read backwards, but beautiful details there. We have the Better Press letter press system, operating instructions. So it tells you what you get, instructions on what to do, warnings. Other information tips okay we'll look at that in a second so this is magnets oh those are strong too those are very strong okay so this is the um, top and you'll notice the grids so here's a7 and a2 to line up so a a2 size card four and a quarter by five and a half and then a five by seven is a a7 card and it has plastic on it and then a piece of cardboard for protection. And then we have shims. And here's also, oh, this is your magnetic plate right here. Oh, has a little gift to it. Okay, so there's a little indention here. Okay, so I know from watching the videos, and we will look at the instructions, uh, there's actually three shims here. Okay and they tucked them right in there and then here's the magnetic plate and that just snuggles right in there all right let's take the plastic off which is so satisfying oh look at that brand new gorgeous and they said enjoy this prettiness while you can take a picture whatever uh, because it will get inky and I'm like, no, okay, magnets, okay, and it does have some give to it. Oh, let me move this a little bit. Let me see if I can minimize that a little bit, maybe, no. Okay, let me scoot this over a little bit. Let's get that over because I don't want you to look at that the whole time. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, uh, all right, so this has give. All right, so let's see what it says. Number one, place the shims on the base of the chase, which we did, and layer the magnetic insert over the shims. Place the better press press plate on the chase. The magnetic insert will keep the press plates from moving. Use registration lines to determine correct placement. Okay, two, place card panel on underside of um, plate and use the best ever craft tape to secure the secure in place use res registration marks on the what they call platen um match the marks up okay open the letter press okay do that do that okay i think we've got this it's not rocket science 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 um but there are some instructions okay the, these magnets are really look at that i mean and this is a heavy heavy piece right here so and you'll notice them. There's little indentions. I don't know if you can tell um, that the magnets kind of go into and um, hold on. Okay, so I took this off. I'm laying it down like this. So let's get a piece of this letterpress paper and a sharp object here to cut this. All right, so have you guys heard about this? Have you have you seen it advertised? Have you been curious about it? Oh, I just missed the whole drawer there. Um, 
So have you been curious about it? Are you thinking, oh, this is just another tool I don't need? Let me know what, you, what, what you're thinking. Okay. So there is the kind of a stone. And there's the white. So let's just go for the white. It looks like there's just two colors in there. Okay. So these are A2 size. Put this right there. Make sure I have one. Um, feels like watercolor paper. I'm just going to go ahead and use this since it's open. So we're going to get a couple little pieces here. Don't need a lot. Let me scoot this over so you can see what I'm doing here. All right. So I am, let's go through this again. This is actually the underside. This is how it goes on. And so I took it off and I'm folding it over. So this is like the underside. So I'm using my registration marks. Okay. Lining this up like this. And I'm going to use just a little piece of tape in each corner to hold it securely. You don't need a lot. And this is really good tape. Like I said, this is what I use. And I reuse it several times. Okay, so I have that down. So then we're going to use this lovely piece that they sent us that's in the pack. And these plates are different from anything else. Um, they, they're kind of a dull silver. All right, let's pull this off. And they said they made the plates different, I mean, different color from the other ones, so you won't get them confused. Um, it does have a different feel to it. I know there's a coating on it, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that has to do with the ink and the, all that stuff, but beautiful. I mean, look at the detail, lots of detail. So why this is so important that it's magnetized, okay, there's our A2 size card, okay? So we're going to place this with the pretty side up, with all the detail up, okay? And so with this, we know exactly where our paper is going to go. So if we want this, you know, over here, we want it to hang off. We want it like this. I mean, we know exactly where it's going to go in the paper. So just for giggles, let's put it like that. There's a sentiment. I don't know what they say. Um, you to something... I hate that I don't know. Okay, let's, does it show in the box? Oh, wait, it shows in here a bit. Um, what's in the box? No, it doesn't tell what it is. Let me see if it shows enough on the box. No, oh, can't read it. Oh, to my favorite person. That's one of them. I don't know that I want to send it to my favorite person. Uh, we'll use the other one. <laughs> I don't know what it says. And how do I know which is up and down? To my favorite. Oh, that's to my favorite person. That was this one. Okay, get that off of there. To my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Surely they don't say the same thing. To my favorite. Well, it looks like they do. Is that the same thing? That's weird. Okay. They look identical. Okay. I don't, I don't know what the purpose of that is. Okay. So we see exactly where we're going to put this on the card. I still have shadow puppets. Um, yeah, that's really bad. Okay. Uh, so you can use these grids to line it up like that. Okay. Then let's open our ink. And my sharp object is in the floor. So let's use this. And this is supposedly a special ink. Um, I don't know what makes it special, but it's special. Okay. Made in the USA. Ghost uh, Spellbinders. All right. So hmm, it smells different. Uh, very different. Okay, then we're just going to go through and start inking this up. And the coating that it has on it is supposed to be what, you know, helps to take this. 
and I believe, which we don't have yet, there is um, a solution that they would like for you to use to clean these with. And we will know more about that when that comes in and I learn a little bit more. So, oh. So you kind of have to, it looks like, go over it several times. And there's something that you clean this stuff with. You know, if you get ink on this or ink on that. Um, and exactly what it is, I don't know, but we have some ordered. So the ink pad doesn't feel real juicy, you know, like a lot of other ones that you get. So let's go through because it looks like it's not... I'm sure it's on there. I'm just not seeing it. Okay. I mean, this is our first one we're learning, right? All right. Maybe it's just those lines are so detailed. Maybe that's why I'm not seeing ink. Okay. Yep. So you get ink on there. Oh, it's already dirty. It's already used. All right. So then we're going to pick up this. Let's get this over. And we're going to turn it over. And you see the spell binders where you can read it, letter press. Okay, we're not going to press. We're just going to let this go into place. Remember, it has some give, but we're not going to smash down. And then let me get my Platinum 6. Which is right here. Let me gingerly place this over here without smashing down because I don't want that ink to touch anything yet. All right, so let's open this up. Oh, sorry. Ah, I get a little wild here. All right, so let's run this through. Like I said, that's, it's, it's heavy. Okay, line that up and start rolling it through. Wow, it doesn't feel like there's much pressure at all. I mean, it's it's very easy. I mean, I can tell when it goes over the die. Let me do this. Okay. Ooh, looks like it shifted a little bit. All right. Let's get this out of the way. I'm do loud noise there. Okay. Let me set this over here. And we will do a reveal. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready, ready, ready? Okay, just go straight up. And oh, look at that. Okay, I gotta shine my my brighter light. That is gorgeous. And it's pressed into the paper, you know, like they used to. Wow. Can you see that detail? That is gorgeous. I mean, that's like wedding invitations or something that you'd pay a lot of money for. I mean, that is beautiful. Is it dry? Yep. But you can feel the, I guess it's debossed. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. Let me move that. That is fantastic. So I will hold either way. I wonder, huh, I wonder if you could do both sides. Let's see. I bet you could because there's it's, it's indented in both sides and it clicks in. So I'm wondering, my thought is, could you not put a piece of paper here and a piece of paper here? Run one through, you know, ink it up, run it through, take that off, ink it up, and then just flip it over and do it again. Save you some time. <gasps> hmm. Very interesting. Okay. But I think I'm going to take this off because when I'm going to get this tape off, I'm going to smush it down and I don't want to get ink all over this if it's not necessary. See, that comes just right off. This is fantastic. Oh, my word. Okay. 
that that is spectacular. I mean, I'm just I am I'm pleasantly surprised. That's just phenomenal. So if it's waterproof, then you can watercolor. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna have to do all the other ones too. Um, let's see how much ink is left on here. Not really any to speak of, but it is, the color did change. Okay, so there's something special to get this off. But I just don't have that yet. So this is what it looks like after. So there is a little bit of change on there, like the ink stained it. But there's not really anything coming off. But they do recommend you clean these. I don't know exactly why, but we will find out. All right, let me put this to the side. And this to the side. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, let's grab another piece of paper. We already have our, let's see, let's use one of these. This is that kind of stone color. Okay, let's line this up like we did. Let's do another one together. Wow, I, I'm really impressed with this. When I was kind of thinking, yeah, it might be cool, but this is like really cool. I don't know if I finished my, my thoughts, my stuff earlier. Let's do this one. Oh, the butterflies are pretty though. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and, oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Um, with all that being said about my day and it's late at night, early in the morning, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, I have a new toy and I couldn't just let it set. I mean, I had to play with it. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Well, they put these on here like... Goodness. Okay. So this middle part comes out, if you would like. You could do that separately, maybe, and then pop it up. And this is wishing you... Wishing you the happiest of birthdays, which is great because that's what I say a lot. Okay, and then this is the die. So you could cut a piece to go under that. You could do this separately and then cut that out. Maybe you could do it all together and then cut it out and pop it up. Um, let's just do it all together. Let me get this out of the way. So we know right where our card panel is going to be. So see, this is not... I hate that sticky on there. I know looking at this, I'm thinking, oh, that's going to be a big card. But, I mean, it, you know, it does. It looks bigger than it is. But then when you put it here on the A2 card, so, I mean, there's your your grid. So you can get it all evened up. And once you get into place, it's not going anywhere. Very pretty. Okay. And then we could just pop this in. like that. All right, let's use one of the other inks. We don't have to use just black because I have different colors. Okay, we're using that kind of a stone colored paper. What ink shall we use? Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Um, blue, mulberry. Let's use the, let's use the blue. Let's see how well that does. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. All right. So again, we're going to ink this up. It looks like you have to go over it. I mean, this is very detailed. So, um, I mean, I'm just starting to see a, you know, a little bit of the blue on there. I don't know about rubbing it. I mean, I don't know if that would make a difference. But we're going to pounce. Get it inked up really well. Like I said, these are not real juicy. You know, like a lot of um, ink pads that you get. Sometimes they're too juicy, you know, but this is not juicy at all. Okay. Probably didn't need to do that much, but we're learning, right? Uh, 
so excited. Okay, so this was the Cosmic Sky. Get on there. All right, so again, we're gonna turn this over where our paper is looking at it. And let me get my Platinum Six again. I don't know if I had more room here. Okay, open this back up. Try not to pop it and make lots of noises. Okay, scoot this over. Put this in. Line that up and then just start feeding it through. Oh, that's, I can definitely tell where the die is, but it's still very easy to turn. I mean, very easy to turn. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's get rid of this. Try not to make it pop. All right. Gingerly set that down. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready, ready, ready? <gasps> oh my. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I mean, the detail is crazy. And you can feel the deboss. <gasps> that is fantastic. I mean, you can't get that with a stamp. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And I'm going to try doing some watercoloring with it too and just see. <gasps> That's gorgeous. All right. I'm going to try a couple more and see what we come out with. So um, let me see and I'll be right back. I tell you, this tool is phenomenal. Let me just say. All right. This is where I did the uh, better press, letter press, and started to color. I just used, I had these handy. These are Jane Davenport's. Um, Color Institute. Anyway, they're just a little brush tip. Already have the ink in there. Watercolors, and then just, you know, a watercolor um, brush just with plain water in it to help move it around. But anyway, look at that. It does not bleed. I mean, this paper is, is great. Great, great, great. And then here is the butterflies. And this is that thicker paper, that 220. And this one. And of course, we did these together. So, wow, 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 wow. I mean, these are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I wish you could feel that. I mean, you talk about elegant and expensive feeling and looking and all the above. So, found out a lot of things doing this. Um, so, we're, we're going to come back on uh, another video and I'm going to let you know all the things I found out. Um, about everything but um, I'm loving it I am loving it so until next time bye for now